July 5, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and five months since the invasion of Crimea. Day for 97 of special Putin's operations. Big picture. Rain showers and cool temps continue in the northwest, while the rest of the country is partly cloudy, hot and dry. Ukraine's efforts near Bakhmut have moved the combat line a significant distance in the last week, after weeks of preparation and constant assaults. Dnieper line. Local government agencies are thankful to the international community and Kiev for assistance in creating water access for residents. Water storage facilities are being created to give potable water in the event of power loss. Ukraine appears to continue to hold on the left bank at Antonivka, under constant bombardment from the Kremlin's artillery. In what almost sounds like good news at this point, the count of those murdered by the intentional destruction of Novokakova Dam is currently at 50 people. It is unclear how many residences have been properly searched, and how many who lost their lives will never be recovered. Zaporizhia Front. Artillery duels along this front were the majority of reported interactions in the last 24 hours. The Kremlin's addition of reserve brigades to this front in the last week has presented new challenges for Ukrainian offences. Heavy shelling by both sides around the Morky Yoli River. East Front, Donetsk. The Chechnyan troops in the Avdivka area were pushed back from incursions made last week, with the enemy experiencing heavy losses. Heavy shelling by both sides continues, and Ukraine destroyed two major storage depots in Donetsk. Bakhmut area. Ukraine continues to successfully run attack from their primary thrusts in the south of Bakhmut. Contested space at Kliskivka has been extended by Ukrainian troops into an area of approximately 14 square kilometers, in the last two days. This forced the Kremlin to expose their 11th separate assault brigade to direct combat. North of Bakhmut, the Kremlin attacked outside of Krasnohora in attempts to secure the hills. Heavy shelling by both sides continues. Oskil border front. The Kremlin made multiple attempted incursions. At least two major thrusts were recognized south of Kuzmine. West of the P-66 highway south of Svartov, enemy troops made attempts to break the last Ukrainian hold on high grounds at the nearest valley. North of Svartov the Kremlin appears interested in removing the Ukrainians from a large village on high ground along the P-26 highway. Northern border. The Kremlin ordered five shelling missions in Sumy. The Ministry of Defense of Ukraine continues to request residents along the Sumy border to evacuate. A recent count by the UN suggests that as many as 13 million Ukrainians have been forced to relocate since February, 2022, and that 8 million of those have taken temporary residence in other locations in Ukraine. Black Sea. The Kremlin has a current count of seven ships, including four missile carriers on patrol, offering a missile volley of 24 calibers on the Black Sea, and another missile carrier on the Sea of Azov capable of a volley of 14 calibers. Ukraine World Related. The FSB has issued a warrant for the arrest of Prigozhin. Ukraine and three other countries are suing Iran over the 2020 shootdown of a commercial passenger jet. Since the February 2022 invasion started, Iran ceased all discussion of culpability of the murders of 176 people on board. United Kingdom Admiral Tony Radakin, the former commander of all of the UK's military, has reported to the UK Parliament that Putin has wasted half of Russia's military power in his attacking of Ukraine. Discussions on the purchase or provision of 1980s-era FA-18B from Australia continue. The FA-18B is a very reliable twin-engine two-seat supersonic plane designed as a multi-role attacking fighter bomber, specifically created to be a first-wave attacker. The plane is capable of carrying 10 AIM-120 missiles per sortie. The craft in question were built specifically in Australia to be land-based, but due to their age were built without stealth capability and will light up on modern enemy radar like a Christmas tree. Updates provided since production are unknown, but could make them highly formidable aircraft. We aim to bring more.